Today, I'm gonna to show you the secret ingredients for my favorite quick stir fry sauce. So stick around. Welcome back to No Recipes. I'm Mark Matsumoto, and I'm here to show you how to elevate your everyday meals. So smack that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out. We all know that steak and black pepper go together like bread and butter. But what I want you all to pay attention to is the sauce. Because this Chinese black pepper sauce could make a crusty old shoe taste like it's got a Michelin star. Seriously. Well, I'm getting all drooly just thinking about it. So let's check out our ingredients and get started. For the meat, I'm using two tenderloin steaks, but this sauce will work with your favorite protein like chicken, shrimp, or even tofu. I'm gonna be stir frying that steak with a small onion, two cloves of garlic, and some red and green bell peppers for a burst of color in about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now it's time to show you the secret ingredients for my sauce. I'm using two teaspoons of corns, two tablespoons of <laughs> Just kidding. We've got two teaspoons of whole black peppercorns, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and one teaspoon of potato starch. Let's start our prep by crushing the black pepper. I usually crack my pepper out of a pepper mill, but for this sauce, I like it coarse, which is why I do it like this. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can put the pepper in a heavy duty bag and quack it with something heavy like a pot or a rolling pin. Okay, the pepper's looking good and it smells incredible. So let's get it into the bowl. I'm also gonna add the oyster sauce, Shaoxing wine, soy sauce, and sesame oil. And we're gonna stir that all together. Then I'm gonna add the potato starch and mix it until there are no lumps left. Now let's cut the beef into three quarter inch cubes. Most recipes call for cutting it into thin strips, but I like having big juicy bites of steak in this. Just be sure to pick a cut that's pretty tender or you're gonna end up with a big wad of beefy chewing gum. Okay, let's get the meat into the sauce and mix it around to coat each piece evenly. Then we're just gonna set this aside while we prep the veggies. For the garlic, I'm gonna smash it and peel it. Then I'm gonna trim the stems off and chop it up roughly. You don't wanna chop it too small or it's gonna burn in the pan. Next, I'm gonna trim the ends off of the onion and peel it. Then let's cut it in half. Slice each half into thirds horizontally, and then we're gonna chop it into three quarter inch squares. For the bell peppers, you wanna core and seed them first. And be sure to get the light colored membranes out as well. Then we just need to cut these into three quarter inch strips and then into squares. Today I've used two different colors of small bell peppers to keep things colorful, but you can use one color or three or none at all if bell peppers aren't your thing. Just find another veggie to substitute in like cabbage, celery, or more onions. That's it for the prep. And I've got a frying pan over high heat that I'm gonna add the oil and garlic to. We're gonna give this a quick stir and then I'm gonna go right in with the beef. I know it's tempting to just dump everything in, but you wanna leave the excess marinade behind in the bowl. Otherwise, our steak's gonna end up boiling instead of browning. Once the beef starts browning on one side, flip it over and brown the other side. 
Now we're gonna let this fry undisturbed for about 15 seconds or until it starts to brown on this side. Don't be afraid of getting a bit of char on that beef. This is what's called wok hay and it's what gives a good stir fry its smoky aroma. Now I'm gonna toss this around and see what we've got. I think I want a little more char on the steak, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this go for a bit longer. Okay, now that's what I was looking for. Let's get the vegetables in there. Now I'm just gonna toss this around until the onions start to turn translucent. You want the vegetables to still be a little crisp, so don't overcook them. This is looking fantastic. Let's pour in the sauce and give it a few more tosses to thicken up that starch. I wish you could smell this, but the combination of the beef, garlic, onions, and black pepper is literally making me drool. Okay, this is done, so let's get it plated up. Nothing fancy here. You wanna get it out of the pan as quickly as possible so the beef doesn't get overcooked. Woo, that's steamy. I'm gonna sprinkle on a bit more black pepper to garnish this, and our steak with black pepper sauce is done. This dish took me about 12 minutes to put together from start to finish, and I challenge you to find a more flavorful dish you could throw together in less time. With big juicy chunks of tender steak and crisp sweet veggies glazed in a peppery sauce, this umami bomb of a stir fry is a craving just waiting to happen. With this black pepper sauce, you could turn almost any combination of proteins and veggies into a mouth-watering meal. So I hope you'll give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, let me know you want to see more like it by giving this a big thumbs up and by sharing it with all your friends that could use a quick stir fry. I want to thank all of my amazing patrons out there who helped to fund this video. You guys are awesome. You know what else is awesome? The smell of that black pepper beef over there. Anyway, if you're learning something new from my videos, I hope you'll consider clicking the link up here to join the Real Recipes crew and help support our future videos. Well, I'm going to go have a bowl of that deliciousness over there now. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, and I'll catch you in the next one.